So, Fujifilm is not going to like this video. They're not going to like it. <clears throat> Let me first start off by saying I love Fujifilm, making the best current cameras. They are. I own a lot of Fujifilm stuff. I own every one of their lenses but two. <laughs> um... Fujifilm owes me a lot of money for doing, like, free tech support for them, by the way. I'm just saying, you know. And I know I'm never going to get paid. Nor did I ever expect to get paid. So, let me get that out of the way first. Um, see, all companies care about money. You know, that's the way they stay alive. That's the way they pay their employees. Here's something that's uh, wrong. Okay? Now, I'll be testing the Fujifilm GFX here shortly, whether that's a month or a hair over. I don't know. Probably sooner. Um... They're looking at $6,500 for the body, and uh, I just want one lens that I actually recommend, the uh, mid-zoom lens, which would be perfectly fine. It's actually an excellent lens for all reports from the Fujifilm shooters that I've been in contact with. So you're looking at right at about $9,500 with everything and a couple spare batteries. So take 10000 bucks, right? Um, you know, if you're a pro shooter, that's a tax write-off. No big deal. What Fujifilm is doing is they're traveling around the country, and uh, you know they're bringing a Fuji Photog with them, and that's okay. You know they're showing everybody the GFX. That's okay. They did that with other little cameras like the XT2 and whatnot. That's all fine, but it really shouldn't be the case with the XT2. Stuff like that is high task priority equipment. You know the only two people that should be buying that camera are people that are those that are using it in their business that can write it off on their taxes. It's like even if they got money, it's like, well, you know, this is going to pay for itself in a few gigs, right? You do like a commercial gig, a couple of them, I mean, that equipment will pay for itself just in a matter of a couple weeks, even less. It's no big deal. The other people are people with more money than brains. There's not a lot of those people out there. Well, there's some, but not that many. Especially not that one a really expensive camera like that. And it's not that expensive. When you compare it to a Mamiya medium format, I mean, it's really cheap. I mean, it's a third the price, basically. Third of the price. Third. So, in that case, it's a lot cheaper. Uh, you know, for most people, like, ten grand is no big deal. If that's what their hobby is, they want to drop it. But Fujifilm, because money is money is money. It doesn't matter if money comes... Cash is cash. It's all green. It doesn't matter if it comes from Joe Blow that... He you know, has been working with a micro four thirds, and he's been brainwashed, and he needs a medium format camera, even though he fucking doesn't. Um, it's it's wrong, but it's not wrong from the perspective of corporate entities, and that's fine. And Fuji's a corporate entity, and I understand all that. I understand that a lot better than you think I do. Um, said the guy that translate ancient Greek for fun. You think he's stupid? No, he's not stupid. Um, so there's a lot of people out there lusting after a camera that they have absolutely no logical, intelligent, existential, empirical uh, reason to lust after. It's just gear lust, right? But they're like saving their pain. You know, it's okay. It's like, wow, I wish I had that. You know, the images from it are amazing. And they are. They are. I mean, I knew that. I shot medium format film, you know. Even including large format film. Calumet 4x5. Processed my own film. Printed my own film. Blah. No more film. People don't need that camera. Unless you're shooting, and that camera has hardcore, uh, narrow spectrum intent of usage. Corporate photography, commercial photography, high end portraiture. I said high end. You know, you're going to shoot like a jet or, uh, you know, a, a bourbon bottle and some glass ice cubes in it for, you know, a whiskey. That's what that camera is designed for. It's not for, like, bebopping down Main Street and taking pictures of. Kirby the wino pissing on the wall. Like, my God, I'm going to take a picture of that wino pissing on the wall. <laughs> That's not what that camera is made for. So there are a lot of people out there lusting after this camera, and you should not be lusting after it because it's ridiculous. Um, it, it's ridiculous. Let me tell you what. Look into my eye and tell me if I'm lying. Even a... Uh, I said all this to a, a Fuji... Uh, official photographer, ex a Fuji, an official Fuji ex photographer, I think that's what they call him. And I said that to him as if he didn't know. And, you know, he, he repeated it back to me, 100% full agreement. You know, his or her premise was, was, yeah, that's absurd. 
So that's the Fuji X photographer, you know, agreeing with me. Do you feel me? So it's not just my opinion. You know, you got the guy that's actually sponsored by Fuji agreeing with me on this fact. The only two people should be buying this are people with, you know, plenty of money to toss around and they got photography as a hobby. Or someone else is going to be working it. You know, it ain't for, you know, taking pictures of your child's birthday party. Unless you're, you know, Daddy Warbucks and you got to have the best of 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 the best. You know, stop lusting after the GFX. You see, I have no, you know, I'm not pulling any water for Fuji. I love them as a company and, you know... I've done a lot for them, even if they hate my guts. Like, oh, don't, we don't want that uh, tattooed guy uh, talking, you know. Cash is cash, you know. I know for a fact people even hate me or they love me or in between. I don't give a damn. I've sold a lot of crap for Fuji. And I get nothing in return. And I don't expect anything in return. That means I owe Fuji nothing, okay? They owe me but I know they're never going to give me anything, nor do I expect to get anything, for God's sakes. My point is, is that, you know, there's a large number of people lusting after buying that GFX that have no intelligent, logical reason to lust after that camera. It's ridiculous. Do you know, you see those guys that, like, live in downtown L.A. that have, like, a monster truck or one of those super huge van truck obnoxious gas guzzling whore dog of a vehicle and it's like it, it's got a pickup bed in the back it's like what are you going to use that pickup bed for? i'm never going to use it and it's like well why did you buy it <laughs> it's you know you got you got to climb into the you got to climb up a ladder to get into the damn vehicle and it like gets like two miles a gallon and they just like live in downtown la it's like why did you buy that piece of shit i'm not saying the fuji is that it's like People, you know, if you lived out in the country and you got to drive in the mud holes or something where you can get stuck, you know, that's a, that's a person that needs a vehicle like that, not for the suburbanite, uh, beta male metrosexual. I let me repeat that: beta male metrosexual <laughs> that's driving in downtown LA traffic in his monster truck, you know, with those gigantic wheels and you know the uh, you you know you've seen that. Those people got no reason to buy that stuff. It's the same reason why there's a lot of you got no reason to lust after that Fuji. The Fuji would not want me to make this video <laughs> because they don't give a damn who they sell it to as long as they sell it. And that is fine. All corporations are that way. And that's all right. I'm just saying, think about it, you know. Use your brain. Think with, you know, use your noodle. It's like, oh my God, I got to have them big negatives. Big negative raw files. Oh, yeah. Bow, bow. Oh, yeah. Look at those files. Oh, my God. I can zoom in and I can see the pores underneath her skin. Bow, bow. That's the camera I got to have. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> no, it isn't. Thank you for watching so much. If you like this video, you can drop me a buck or two instead of Fujifilm. <laughs> no, or you can tell me to jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you happy. Lux y veritas. Bum, bum, bum.